Olds, but it's good morning and welcome to another week and another Monday morning vlog. Wow, where has the weekend gone? Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Remember, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that like button. And if you're not already a Bulls buddy and a member of this wonderful community of ours, please hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free of charge. And hit the notification bell for notifications of new content on this channel. Fantastic. Well, what a weekend. What a 48 hours. There's been some great bowling. Not by me, I hasten to add, by other people. Um, and it's been great to get out on the green. The weather's been absolutely beautiful. Um, I know the Griffin was as packed as it possibly can be under these new socially distant times of ours, but it was really, really good to see competitive bowling again. Uh, during this winter season and also you may remember i mentioned that there was a um, a new league being played at the railway at pleasanton i've got the full results for that and yeah it's great to see competitive balls we need more of it well in my first competition of this winter season at the griffin i drew the uh undisputed number one at the Griffin at the minute, Jack Dyson, uh, playing a lot of bowls, sending a lot of bowls and winning a lot of bowls matches. So it was a very tough ask uh, for me today, um, playing once a week, if that isn't the sort of um, preparation you need when you're playing a good player like Jack. And although I did lead 10-9 at one point, I only scored one more chalk uh, and I succumbed 21-11. I honestly believe if I'd have been playing somebody else, maybe anybody else out of the field, I would have come close to winning. Um, so just a bad draw on my part. Um, he didn't win. He didn't win. That was the interesting thing. In the semi-finals, Craig Gant beat uh, Jack, I think, quite comfortably, 21-10 maybe. And in the other half of the draw, Gary White from Leeds beat Nicky White, my personal trainer, Nicky White, 21-19. And the final, I didn't see it, I wasn't there, but it was a bit of an upset, a bit of a turn-up for the books. Gary White beating Craig Gant 21-16 and putting his name on the Peter Jackson Jacko Memorial Trophy. So well done to Gary. Um, certainly showed a bit of class there. And I know he's in the uh, Griffin Rose Bowl, which starts next week, as am I. Um, I played the current champ champion of champion uh, this week. Next week, I play the champion of champion runner up, Mark Holman. So there you go. It doesn't get a lot easier at the Griffin. Uh, but also on next week, next Saturday, is the first of the member and guest pairs, which promises to be a really good day. Um, we've had to split it to try and keep the social distancing, work, distancing working, uh, and I'm playing the following week in that, um, as, and there's the Rose Bowl. There's lots going on at the Griffin, bowling Saturday and Sunday for the next two weeks. So if you are at a loose end, uh, and you want to pop down as long as you're socially distanced and unless the rules change today um, you'd be more than welcome um, so I'm going to get on to the Pleasanton Railway at Pleasanton uh, first results I need the glasses on because I can't see and they've got some really interesting names so these were the scores of the first games there it's uh, a pairs league six aside there's um, six teams so the first game was between the universal soldiers against 21 or bust what fantastic name so ad hodgson and lee hammond 21 chris easterman and brian fish 13 <laughs> bless me billy gaskell and frank whittaker 21 john phillips and mark marrow 18 harry hargreaves and ross hats are 21 matt fish and ian parkinson seven so that's a five nil win for the Universal Soldiers. 
The next game up was the Mega Bonds versus Railway Elite. Matt Bond and Saitok 21, Alan Livesey and Sue Livesey 11, Kieran Hanford and Dean Butler 20, Ian Armstrong and Pete Norris 21, Claire Russell and Darrell Wright 21, Mark Nichols and Bob Shepard 6. So that's a 4 1 win for the Mega Bonds. And the third and final game today, the Witten Pickle Ticklers playing Rushton Street Noddies. So, Mark Green and Sharon Preston, 20. Craig Rammel, Leighton Whitehead, 21. Tim Preston and Graham Lang, 10. Steve Townley and Gary Timlin, 21. Alan Croft and Mick Preston, 21. Mick Burns and Phil Jones, 2. So, that was a 3-2 win for the Witten Pickle Ticklers. So, that's going on every Sunday for the next... Is it seven weeks, he said? I can't just remember. Do you know my mind's like a sieve? But that's happening. Um, so it's great to see. I know that there's bowling taking place at Hotwood Unionists as well. I think the final of that is next Sunday. Uh, so lots of bowling. Uh, there was a, a competition at Ashton that Kevin Shaw won, beating uh, Wayne Ditchfield 21-20 in the final. So it's really good to see some bowling getting back. And... My personal view is we need to get some competitive balls back. Otherwise, if we don't have leagues next year, I, I can really see it being the end of balls as we know it. And it will become the minority of minority sports, which I'm really hoping doesn't happen. So, brilliant. On the channel this week, obviously today I've got the Monday vlog. Uh, there's no Tuesday tutorial. I'm hoping, I'm only working two days this week, so I'm hoping that I can get some filmed. If not this week, it's going to be next week, so there's, there's going to be a couple of weeks without the Tuesday tutorials. People have been sending some great ideas, uh, and I just need to work out the best way to go around filming them and, and hopefully getting uh, the things across to you the best way I can. Uh, Wednesday, Waterloo weight loss. Um, I've only got two weeks left. Now, I'll be honest with you, if I lose any weight this week, I'll be absolutely gobsmacked because I've been out on the pop two nights running. So, uh, hopefully, lose a few more pounds. But I'm going to keep going anyway, but I won't be filming it. So, there's two more weeks for the Waterloo weighing. I've heard we're about £21,000 short still. They're looking for donations. 21 donations at £1,000 a time. And you get the five day tickets for the next five years. Um, there's still time. It's going to be, well, maybe three weeks time they'll be looking at, at making that decision. And 21,000 isn't close enough. Uh, maybe if they're a thousand pound off or two thousand pound, it might be. Uh, might be the sort of amount they can deal with, but twenty-one thousand, it's not. It's going to be a non-starter. That so, if you if you want the Waterloo to keep going, dig deep, guys, dig deep. Um, Thursday, the retro balls video. It'll be another Olympia, and I can't remember the next one in line. No, my memory is shot, but. It'll be a, uh, an Olympia, well maybe 87 is it? I think 86 has been on before, it could be 87 or 88. Can't remember, can't remember. And then Friday, Ask Andy. Uh, big apologies guys as well. A lot of your emails have been going straight into my spam folder and I'm not seeing them and I've, I've saw them the other day there's maybe five or six and i haven't got around to replying to them yet some of them are really really detailed and really interesting ideas about how to maybe improve balls or get juniors playing and things like that so i'm gonna have a really good look through them this week and try and come up with a really good ask andy for you on friday uh, i'd like to get my teeth into something uh, but i'm not sure just what uh, but it'll be something good i'll guarantee it how about that um, so I think that's all I've got to say for today. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, the weather's going to stay pretty fine and I'm going to get on a few bowling greens doing some spiking because that seems to be my job. I know Gag Hills needs it and the Griffin and uh, Nicky White's place down in uh, Rotherham. So I'll be doing a, a few trips out and about. I'm hoping also to have a practice. 
because I want to take Saturday seriously. I think the Rose Bowl at the Griffin is one of the the oldest competitions going, and I think it deserves a bit of respect. So I'm not going to mess about with that. I'm going to maybe get some practicing and, and try my very best. But I'll leave it there, guys. Um, all being well, we we won't be locked down as severely as, as I think we possibly could be. But let's hope it doesn't impinge too much on what bowling there is out there that's going on if you are allowed on the green and you do get on the green guys please stay safe and i'll see you on the other side